they just used so so two or three tracks uh, were left and made it on the record um, but we recorded a lot of more and that that was a little bit sad because I think that would have been a real real cool stuff with a lot of guitars and this record is not so there are not so many guitars because of that that series these serious troubles they had with the with the recording stuff and one more thing is that i think there were three songs uh with guitar and the credits were also not correct they credited sharon for one guitar track that i played <laughs> so oh. i i was i was just on two two tracks <laughs> but um uh, I have to take a look at it. I, I don't know if it's one or two track where the credit the credits were wrong. It was just a mistake. It wasn't. What no, it wasn't on purpose. It's uh, yeah, gotcha. it, it was. It was difficult to to learn Tangerine Dream music for you, or, or? Um, yes, it was difficult because, but but not because it's it was so complex, but um they were pr pretty long songs yeah. um and always a little bit different a little bit here a little bit that and a little bit this and that and this was very very difficult so life it was really hard um i really had to learn them and i had some i had some sheet music on the floor where i i didn't write too many notes but just some some orders of of parts and so because otherwise it it was really hard it would have been too much um yeah so it was difficult yeah because of the sometimes they have uh, uh how can i say a few bars here a few bars there then then the other part the, the part a comes again but with not not six bars just four and a half bar and something like that so it's always a little bit changing and a little bit different and th this this made it pretty difficult but um i really have to say that i really enjoyed it to to be on stage live with them um because you don't have in austria you don't have that many uh, opportunities to play big gigs like this where really professional audio professional uh, crew um cool venues it's it's not that often so i really i i missed that and i i would have loved to play a little bit longer uh with them um yeah but how, how many how many shows were you you guys doing a year at the time no, I th in general, uh, uh, I played. You mean with Tangerine Dream? Yeah, with Tangerine Dream. Yeah, you, in I general. Played, uh, in general, I, I think I played eight shows or something like that. So not too, not too much. Um, <clears throat> and there were uh, there was a tour planned uh, for I don't remember the year. It must be maybe. Uh, uh, late 90s and uh which i had to to cancel because i the situation uh, um, was i uh, um, already was a teacher for jazz guitar at the conservatory and i had a full teaching job and i had my family at this time i had two kids um and <laughs> That's okay. He can so, come and introduce yourself. My, son, my son's coming with something. <laughs> come, on, come on, come on. Hello. Hello. It's it's just audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they play, he play music too or no? No, he's a soccer player. Right. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah but at the moment, he's just training, That's training. <laughs> fitness and stuff like that um yeah there, there was a tour planned in america and i would have loved to do that but i um, i had to cancel it uh, because it was i had to check a sub for me for teaching for me i would have to pay 
this guy and it was so so difficult with the money for the tour that I, that I said okay I can't do it it's it's not it's not for me it's not economic you know and the bad thing was that the whole tour was cancelled after after I cancelled the tour with them because they were not because of, of some troubles with the venues or whatever I don't know so if I wouldn't have cancelled it from from uh, uh, my side I maybe uh, would have played longer in the band <laughs> you know what I mean yeah, no I know yeah it yeah. was it, this was a real strange situation a little bit but things are yeah things happen and yeah sometimes sometimes it's like that uh, sometimes uh, you 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 remember who you who you who you were playing with at the time at time during dream time yeah sure. who was in the band um do you remember that um it, the, my first gig it was um Jerome and Edgar of course Ed, you're, you're the yeah, yeah yeah and um and a guitarist from London a second guitarist from London but I don't remember his name he played uh I would have to take a look at at, at my papers if I um and I think that this was it it was just just maybe Iris was already um in the band but I don't remember what what no, at the first gig, Iris wasn't there. And at my second London gig, uh, Iris was in the band. So Iris Kama and uh, who else? You play, you play with Linda? That was, no. Yeah, and Linda. Sorry. Linda, too, yeah, Linda yeah. of course. Linda. She was she was in the band at the first, uh, at my first gig, too. And later, there was also a a German drummer who played in Osnabrück festival uh, but I also don't remember his name because he just played this one gig or this or two gigs and it's it's really 25 years ago I don't remember gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. yeah in uh, I, I, I interview as I say I interview you call it Iris I call Iris in, 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 yeah, I, yeah she has been very nice very good to me and she's the one who put me in touch with Bernie you know, and then Bernie put me in touch with you. So I'm, I'm trying, hopefully, one day I, I want to have the opportunity to interview Linda as well. And uh, and, and, and I, of course, I interviewed Thorsten uh, like four months ago. And, man, I would like to do like a Tangerine Dream reunion, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If people... that, would be, that would be fun, but yeah. So you already interviewed Linda or not? Or, or no, I okay. have not. I, I need to get a hold of her. She, I sent a couple emails. She got no reply. So if oh. you know her, put, you can put me in touch. It would be great. Yeah, I know her just a little. Uh, yeah, I know her a little bit. Um, but I can check the, the the phone number again if you. Uh, yeah. Or maybe Iris, Iris knows knows her better than than me. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely will. Uh, I will. Uh, and I will. So let's talk a little bit about your your. Uh, your life after three uh, after Tangier and Dream, I I was able to listen to three of your albums, um, the Big Lamb, and Raw, and, and some of the early ones. Yeah, but that's very very good stuff, man. Thank you very much. Thank and I, and I want to bring your attention to three three uh, song that I I listened to last night when I was preparing for the debut, uh, Squire seventy eight. Mm -hmm. Feel free to elaborate on how the particular composition came together and so on so forth squire 78 that's funny um maybe because it's it's a it's it's a some kind of, of riff that you can can remember uh but uh, when i compose or when, when i'm at home and when i'm practicing i sometimes i jam around with the guitar and play a yeah. little and and uh, some riffs come to my mind and this particular riff from squire 78 i played that uh when i i uh tried out uh, a squire guitar a squire stratocaster that i bought recently but um this is where where the name squire 78 comes from and uh, the 78 comes from I had a new distortion pedal. It's called uh, Custom uh, MXR. What is it called? 
uh, custom 7080 storage. <laughs> and this combination with this combination, when I tried this, uh, uh, this, this guitar and, and, and the distortion pedal, I, this riff came to my mind. And so then I mostly write, um, I, I write it down, I write down the riff and write an, a working title. And this working title uh, was, uh, yeah, uh, it's still the title of the, of the track. So, and then mostly I record uh, a few ideas that I have and then I, try to go from from a riff or a motif or a melody to the next melody or to the next part and so the whole song uh, so mostly a, a whole song um, is the result of 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 um, this kind of work and uh yeah it's uh the funny thing is this is the on spotify the 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 one with the most streams. I don't know why, because of the riff, maybe. I don't know. Very good, man. I also listen to um, Wika Walk. Kiwa Walk. Kiwa, Kiwa. Yeah, yeah. Kiwa. Yeah. yeah. You know what Kiwa is? No, no. No. I, I tell you, you know, you know my, you remember my son walking through the, through the Step, door? Yeah, Stepstone. Yeah. He, he he came here and this song I wrote in my mind when I went with him when he was a little baby. Ah, the I got you. Kinderwagen. Kiva. Ah. It's the ah. Kinderwagen. And I I always went for a walk with him. And one time this this main riff from this thing I had it in my mind. Don't go over the mill. And then I sang it to my sing uh, to my telephone and uh, to remember it at home. And I made the song. I made the yeah. song. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's is, a rock. Is he, is he a, a good soccer player? Is he... Yeah, he's a good soccer player. Mm, not a professional, um, but he they, he plays in a. Uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, it's under uh, called under sixteen in, in yeah. a higher league under sixteen, um, and he's a good good player, like like uh, offensive uh, mid midfielder. Yeah, maybe maybe he will make it pro, man. Maybe it's too late now, um, but um, we'll see. I think it's for a real pro. You. Maybe we would have chosen, um, we should have chosen another way. So we, I think we, you have to put him in a, in a, in a, in a school where he's the whole week and, and, uh, but, but he didn't want that. We didn't want that. So I don't know, maybe he shall play as long as he loves well, to play. And, you know, he can go to school and, and do, do it for fun, you know, to, Right. I also I also listen to uh, the 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 funk with an attitude. Yeah, <laughs> Indeed, that's a very that funky one, man. That's very good, very yes. different from the stuff you have done before. Yeah, yeah it's with a a good friend of mine with uh, features Hubert Tubbs. Yeah, um, he's a, a singer from from America. He yep. he was once in Tower of Power for for a certain time and he lives in vienna and i sometimes play jobs with him iris knows him very well by the way yeah, i'm going to be interviewing him in a couple of weeks yeah that's cool now hubert is a super funny guy yeah, and so funny guy he, he's a very very he has a very special voice and i played uh, a few jobs with him and um we always have something to do with each other um and uh, um for i am this song needed some kind of vocals and then i th i thought hubert would would fit perfect for that so i hired him and we did it that's that's cool yeah yeah that was uh i uh, i really like it's a it's a lonely beat but i i, I really like it man so uh, so, yeah. for going going forward, what, what's what's the plan for the near future? Are you the the, the album that is is already done? Are you gonna be releasing and, and then touring with that particular album? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, the, the the album has been released on April sixteenth, so it's now available on every. 
platform and via or my website you get all infos there and uh the plan it's hard to plan anything at the moment i'm for the third time i'm moving my little tour um i moved it from march last year to fall last year i'm had to move it from fall to spring this year and this spring so now i have to move it again to the to the next fall i don't know when we can can do our gigs but we we already played a few we played two streaming gigs um which is okay but it's not my my favorite thing to do it's the, the audience is really missing and when, uh, when 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 in your country things are going to be opening up or um we have things? now um on may 19 there are some opening uh steps yeah so uh, we were closed now for uh, from November till now, completely. Oh, every cultural event, everything, and uh, school and so on. But on May 19, um, everything sh uh, is planned to to uh, to open with several dist uh, restrictions like testing and uh, vaccination and uh so on and half of the people um but they also open uh um sports we, we were not allowed to do any sports uh indoor or out, outdoor so my son was used to to train uh, uh soccer four times a week and for a half a year they did nothing so they're starting again and we hope um yeah the concerts should open again but it's not so easy to to organize concerts within two or three months you know so i'm i'm now um, moving a few concerts to, to november uh october november and i hope that in 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 fall uh, we can do some kind of regular regular life and regular um uh, concerts uh, but i i really don't know it's a phase and, and that's a strange thing for me uh you you do something you plan something but i always have to say but i don't know if it happens <laughs> so nothing is fixed it's really that's really strange and and yeah i don't know what to say here yeah. only the way you know it uh yeah it, it's until you know, every country says it's okay, it's okay, because there are so many people that even here in the United States, some people want to get the vaccine, it's available. Some people say, no, 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 it, you know, it's a conspiracy, conspiracy. I don't yeah. want to take the vaccine. Other countries, they don't have the vaccine, and they would like to have, so it's... Yeah. So are you already, already, uh, did you get get your shot? Yeah, or? yeah, I got my vaccine uh, uh, a month Two. ago. Yeah. Two? No, I did only one, the Johnson & Johnson. Johnson Johnson is just one, okay. Yeah, and I was fine. Okay. You know, and, and then I'm, um, I go to the office like three or four times a week. So I'm, a, I'm an in engineer. So I uh -huh. work some time from home, but I need to go in. Yeah. So, and everybody at my at my company and, you know, everybody got the vaccine. We still need to wear masks and everything. Yeah. And stay like three or four feet apart or something. But, yeah. every, you know, things are improving here in in. in in, in this country and hopefully will the whole world because I would like to go and see shows man I miss you 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 miss playing in front of the band I miss going to see musicians I, I can tell you that I also miss going somewhere I I would if there would be a concert here I would watch every concert that's <laughs> near near my place even if I don't play because I miss going out and 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 just yeah, having a drink, uh, listening to good music. It's, uh, it's so about, you know, it's really, uh, I'm, I'm very glad that I am some kind of, uh, how can I say that, that, that I'm not a depressive person. I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty, um, happy person, yeah. but I have to say in the last weeks when the weather when the weather is bad, there is no sun, no nothing. Nobody's out on, out there. You always see the same people. I started. Oh God! Now I'm really, 
I really get sick of that now, really. Of course, yeah. You want, you you want to see the sun, you want to go out, just you want to listen to some music, you know, drink drink a and couple of beer. I think it should be possible. So, so uh, um, some kind of opening has to be now. And, and I hope I hope the the numbers will also help us to 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 achieve that. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Where where our listeners can can buy your music? Feel free to mention your website and. Yeah, uh, of course. My there's always uh, info information on my website www.grahol.at. Yeah. Um, but you should get every record on all the regular platforms like i don't <laughs> uh yeah I, I shouldn't say it but it's available on spotify and apple music and everything um, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and you have anything in band bandcamp yeah and bandcamp thanks and for bandcamp, the, yeah that, that plays well bandcamp mm -hmm. is is maybe the best thing to the buy best, yeah because um almost Almost, I think at least eighty percent go to directly to the to the artist. That's yeah. a cool, cool thing. If you have Spotify, if you stream it, um, nothing comes to the artist. So um, you, need, you need like a million hits a yeah. month. Or something, yeah. yeah, yeah, a month, and then you can maybe make a living of it. But um, I think it's um, I, it's my. 25,000 streams on Squire 78 or something. They were maybe $60 or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, there is a website. It's also on my, uh, uh, my web page where uh, they, they send the CDs and the vinyl um, uh, internationally. Yep. But Camp is a, is a cool thing. And yeah, to mention is that my last record is the first time in my life that I made vinyl. So yeah, I, beautiful, man. Yeah. I grew up in, 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 in the time when the CD got bigger and bigger. I have, uh, um, I myself uh, grew up with, with, with vinyls, of course. And then so mid eighties, when I started to make, to, to record, uh, uh music, uh, this, the CD was the next thing, and now after thirty years, <laughs> the CD is gone. Uh, but why? Yeah. Do, do, do you you have like a big vinyl collection, a big CD collection? No, not big, but I have I have some. I have um, some kind of rock music and some kind of jazz music like this. But I start to buy vinyl again because I bought a, a vinyl player uh, yeah. a few months ago. Um, and I'm now starting to buy vinyl again. <laughs> oh, me too, man. I, I have a, I, I have you know a big, a big collection CDs and yeah. um, I have, you know what I have? I have a big collection of cassettes. I, you I do. Still, I still Come have on, man. 550 cassettes, um, all. Uh, in in a map wrote uh, where I wrote <laughs> uh, what what kind of album it is and I still have them and sometimes I try to try them and to see if it if they still work and most of them still work <laughs> so yeah. I don't want to throw them away I want to keep them so I think five hundred and sixty five or something cassettes with stuff on it <laughs> man you have how how many guitars do you have you have like ten fifteen yeah no no it's more more yeah yeah uh you see just i think you see i see that's like yeah only like uh, 10 just one two three four six, seven then i seven uh, seven here on this side on the back i have another seven or eight uh in general i have about 30 30 guitars some are, some are in cases in the back there um about about 30. And then when you go on when you go and play with guys and you go on tour how many did you take with you like five one. or <laughs> Only one? Yeah. No, two. No, no. Uh, no, two. you need to take like three or four, right? Yeah. Uh, mostly I take at least two because one is my uh, my main guitar and and a second one is a spare guitar. So if something happens, I don't like too much to change guitars uh, on stage because it's always, um, uh, it can be a sound problem. This guitar is a little bit louder. You have to check that, that, that. So I try to stick to one, one, one yeah. model, 
people, but I always have uh, one in spare or maybe an acoustic guitar or two. Uh, it, it really depends. When I play with my band, I have two guitars with me and, and uh, uh, but, uh, for example, I play a, a TV show uh, once a year. It's called Dancing Stars, um, where we play, where there's a big orchestra. And there I have five, six, seven guitars. So every every track that we play has maybe a different guitar, but it's not so much to, to carry around because it's uh, they are in the place where the show uh, uh, takes place. It's yep. TV over over 10 weeks and so it's not that much effort for me to 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 bring always uh five or six guitars that's beautiful man yeah that's beautiful. yeah and definitely i wanna i wanna you know email you after after i send you the the link to the interview and uh definitely i want to get some of your music man uh the vinyl yeah. and uh, some cd autograph i will i will we'll work it out i would yeah, uh, uh, remind me on 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 email. Yeah. Um, yeah, I will. I will. The only thing is the send sending um, one of the vinyl. I have to check out from Austria. It's sometimes a little bit difficult uh, to America because I. But maybe it's getting better in the next weeks. For example, I sent some CDs boxes to CD Baby. I don't know if you know CD Baby. Uh, it's an online distributor, and it took about two. And a half months to that that it's it's uh, they, they stay in factories until oh, it's really really strange a little bit but we work something out you we'll, just let, yeah. you you just let me know what you want to have and I yeah send definitely you. yeah and then i will send you you know if you can if you if you can i'm still in touch with some of the other tangerine dream guys i would love to yeah, yeah sure no no problem I have to, uh, but please remind me send me your, send me your address and yep. then i'm then I can put a, a package together. Okay, that would be good. Well, thank you very much for, for your time, and that was a yeah. great time. You know, you're a very good musician. You were very, very, very well recommended by by Bernie, man. He's a very, yeah. Bernie's yeah. a very cool guy, too. I like his personality. He's, He's very... Yeah, we played uh, we played one Tangerine Dream uh, gig together. Did he, did he tell you that we played that? No, no, I didn't know. I thought you were we in different played. period. Now, yes, so he was um, uh, some years after I played, but yeah. we played two shows together. Uh, one in Berlin, Tempodrome, um, and one in another German, uh, Eberswalde. I think there sh there is, let me check if I have the DVD here. Yeah. <laughs> um, no? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> take, take your time, take your time. I think it's Orange Odyssey. I'm not sure. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if you see it, but this yeah. is. Wow. No, I, I don't have that one, but yeah, I can recognize. What year was that? So I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guy here. Right there. Yeah. And this is Bernie. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And, and who else is there? Uh, Thorsten, uh, no, Thorsten, yeah. Uh, Iris, Thorsten, Linda, yeah. And, uh, using it. This was when was that? Two thousand seven. Gotcha. Yeah. Two thousand seven. Yeah. It's called Orange Odyssey. Yeah. And I need, I need it's this one that we where we played uh, together. Maybe it's on the on the on the web somewhere at YouTube. I'm not sure. I will check it out. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Orange Odyssey. Um, maybe I send you a link if I find it. With yeah, that would be great, man. Me together. It, it was really fun because because we know each other pretty well, and uh, I think it was too much rock and roll for Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> I really think so because it was really fun. We we had our fun and we played. Yeah, and I think it was too much for Edgar. For Edgar, yeah. Well, okay. hopefully, 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 you can come to toward the end of the year or next year to to America to play some gigs here. I would love to meet you and, and see you live. Well, eh? this would be cool. Uh, um, maybe one thing you asked me for the future. Um, yeah, I am. I am already into the next production uh, with yeah. with two American musicians um, that I played before uh, with Adam Nitti. He's a bass player, lives in, in, in Nashville and plays with Kenny Loggins, for example, guys like yeah. that. But he's a yeah. 
monster bass player. And with Kirk Covington, a drummer, he played with uh, Joe Savinor and he played with uh, uh, Tribal Tech and so. Yeah. And he's on, he's on the Big Land album, the drummer. And yeah. um, I have already four songs and maybe we f I finish another four songs with them uh, via remote recording. So we're recording at home, yeah. sending, us, sending the files. And I want to prove with this record that it's possible to do a record that sounds like we play together, like we, play together, we yeah. didn't play together. Yeah. So that, that's my goal. And and maybe I finished that, that this year uh, because I started this thing uh, at the same time when I recorded the last one, episode six. And I wanted to, my original uh, goal was to combine my regular band, my local band, and 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 the Americans, but then we had um, uh, we we had too many tunes, and so I separated the date, and I do two records. But I I don't know if I can afford it. I'm not. <laughs> I I have to check out how it uh, the recording What's is yeah. the problem. But we'll see uh, if if it's a CD or if it's a special thing in the future. That's just just online. I don't know. I'm, I have to think about that. But that's well, my hopefully thing. hopefully I can see you play live. You know, this would be cool. And this uh, this is what I wanted to see. The drummer always says, "Hey, come 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 to my place." He uh, he lives in Austin, Texas. In Austin, Texas. Yeah. So um, and this would be cool to tour with them. These two two guys. They are monster players, but I don't know if 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 that will happen that soon. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. We'll see. So uh, we keep in touch, huh? Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And probably we'll we'll meet you uh, soon, and then we go to three, go to a couple of beers. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's and dinner, man. send me your contact address. Well, I will. Yeah. And what do you want to? what you uh, would like to have, and I, I send you a package, right? Okay, great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great afternoon. Take it easy. Yeah. See you. Thank you very much. No, no problem.